So welcome you guys to another soul powered episode or segments, whatever you're calling them. And today's topic by the title is emotions and cooking, or you could go with emotional cooking. So there's that and my it's already bugging, but whatever. So with the emotions is Dang, that's not where I actually want to start out with. But yeah, the topic is emotions. Want to kind of reiterate. Oh, I'm to I'm and I have to go stop that. Segments, whatever you're calling them. Wednesday's top by the title is emotions and. I thought that was muted. But anyway, I, uh, before we were getting into the topic of emotions, I'm going to kind of reintroduce the segments and go from what I've said the last topic about it. So every weekend, 1 o'clock Central Standard Time for me in the afternoon is there's going to be a soul power and it's going to be about an hour it can go longer mad sometimes it's only 15 minutes which is still pretty close to an hour and it's also combined with solutions we can now do the advice that I would give for the emotions it could be on a solutions weekend but that's one of the topics and so if it answers your questions or the form that you filled out then I guess you don't need it or if you don't fill one out and it answers it before that you fill it out or something basically if before you're filling out an answer or not an answer but a problem and you get the answers from here then there's no point in to doing it unless you want to see if it's any different so there's that and then also the last yeah week obviously because every almost every weekend Obviously, there is another camera which I was testing out too in case people wanted to come join the hangout, which is possible, which I'd like to do. Too. So that's another thing that I talk about. But anyway, I don't even remember my topic already. Emotions on a musical. E music? No, musical cooking. Everybody has emotions. It's if you say you don't have emotions, you're probably not showing them that well. And a lot of people do have that where they won't really show their emotions, or they show a different emotion. And people's emotions won't always match up. They won't always seem what they are. Some people can be angry when they're upset. Some people can be upset. They're angry. Some people could always seem happy and smiling, but hiding behind a smile. And some people like to just mess with their emotions too, like their own emotions. And it's awkward and weird in ways, but people manipulate. People are just kind of them, their selves with their emotions. If somebody is telling you to be another emotion, I mean, yeah, you should be as happy as you can, or you should be yourself show your emotions don't change your emotions for what you matter we are in with music too that expresses like what kind of music do you listen to or if you play an instrument how are you playing the instrument because honestly no matter how you really play the instrument your emotions going to come out i mean if you're practicing a song if you're first starting out obviously you're gonna be first your day First, first rated, yeah, totally. You'd be frustrated because you aren't playing the keys correctly or you're not hitting the right accord notes, trumpet notes, or you're not breathing properly. So there could be a lot of things with music and emotions to a music, even if you don't play an instrument, you're just listening to a certain song over and over again or having like if you listen to that song over and over 
pegging, it shows your emotions pretty well. If you're like, hey, listen to this song, and then some person might feel the same way because they're listening to that song. So you can change their moods like that too. Well, it is kind of manipulative, but music is supposed to have effect on your emotions and what you listen to or how you listen to it or how you play the instrument. The songs are always about certain things. Maybe sometimes they're random or silly or sometimes they're actually about the meaningful thing with music that they don't have lyrics. It's harder to tell what they're about, but then you can also feel more emotion too because you hear more of the instrumental. Yeah. You feel more of that. So you feel more emotionally because you can hear it be better or depending on how emotional it is to you. Like, not every song will impact the person. I mean, it's possible. It's like, could you imagine music or life without music? Because from my observations through a lot of people, everyone you see is listening to music on the job, at school, working, exercising, listening in the car. I mean, not always, or even doing homework or paperwork or something, but most of the time they're listening to music. Really, a bad joke is that you listen to music in an elevator. So there's that, too. There's music playing the wall. There's no wall, no, in the mall, or shopping centers. So there's music all around. And it can affect you depending on your day, your mood. If you have a bad day, listen to a happy song. If you want a bad day and you're happy, if you want to change your mood, listen to a depressing song. Although I don't know why you'd want to do that. Because so when you're running or exercise or working out and you're getting pumped, you want to listen to something hardcore. And trying to combine with uh, cooking with, no, I mean, not cooking with music. I mean, it could go vice versa either way, but I started off with music. So having music while you're cooking, too, even can affect the way things are or the way you cook something without music, just the way you feel depend on how you cook it or how you want to create it, how you want to be music can affect a lot of things in a lot of ways that not everybody sees or understands. We might listen to a song where we don't know what it is or we have no idea what they're saying, but yet it still affects us and how we don't know. It's, it's to do with our emotions or how it connects to us. Like the song Blue Eyed Tears that I composed, created, produced. It's up on SoundCloud and that has a kind of two-ish meanings behind it. Two-ish, like, which means it's kind of weird, but because of the title, like, people with blue eyes and then the emotions is, like, when you have a relationship or something like that. Because you can compare that to a spook verse, which is kind of the same tempo actually it changes, but then also the rhythm is different in it too. You have a different set of emotions. You feel kind of more eerie or blue at tears. You feel sad and if you guys want to go check those music clips out, you can hit the link or go to soundcloud.com slash solutions or you can actually go to solutions.com on the from page two to check those music out. There's, there's a recent one, too, that I made of my inspiration. What I was trying to do with that is not only fit <clears throat> my emotions of inspiration in it, though, but try to go on making that particular person who is ever listening to the song not only inspired, but feel... <coughs> Bless me. That 
the feel the same way or kind of get in tap with those emotions that people have in their music. So you can play music and maybe you still might not show emotion, but honestly, it's really hard not to. I would like writing a song too. So as you write, you think about the things that affect you or you want to be silly and you're in a really happy mood. So no matter what you do, really, those emotions can affect the way you write a song. Even when you sing too, because once you start thinking sad, your voice will change, which helps being an emotional singer, which I'm not good at. But I am good at, at help, not helping, but creating those emotion flexual, I don't know if you call them fluctuations, but creating something that's able to change your mood, like listening to the different types of music, because not everybody's going to like the same music and not everybody's going to listen to the same music for reasons of their emotional, their emotional being or like just personal if they don't like that preference pref preference of music that is not a good statement but yeah when you're cooking too it's like you would listen to something because you just sour mind or sour taste of music but sour feel and your food turns out sour but when you're cooking happy or listening to your like favorite song or with your favorite people and stuff like that too you can have it taste good I lost what I was saying but so depending on like some people want to be creative in cooking too and they'll play music I'm most likely guessing and then I'll jam out they'll find all these ingredients mix them together see how they taste them because of how they felt they or what they did they've changed the recipes say you used to make like let's go with cheesecake you make cheesecake one day and like a plain cheesecake you're really happy you're really upbeat listening to a great song and it and then you have the cheesecake it turns out great you share it with your friends or family that's great it's great cheesecake then you also have then say the next day something happens and you're just eh, you feel down but okay there's no buts to it actually wait. actually yeah the twist yeah <laughs> but the twist is that you have food yeah you're feeling down about something Thing as if maybe yesterday you could have done better on the cheesecake, so you're trying to do better, you're trying to work harder, you're like angrily up. Said about the cheesecake, you put all the same ingredients in the same amount, put it in for oven toaster, my, I don't know why I put it in my microwave, but you did that for a while, and then you gave it to the same group of people who said the same one was. Picking if they ask if you changed something, you'd simply tell them no, but yeah, something would change. Although it's not physically in the recipe, but it is in the emotions because truly love is in cooking because it's something people love to do as within music too. You love to do that. You love to create things. You love to try new things. So you pour your emotions into a switch running or exercising to you're using all this energy or emotions and it's just leaving your head as if nothing's bugging you and you just don't want to stop running because it feels amazing like that's really actually it is kind of an emotional feeling but it's just also everything is leaving your mind at the same time As for people on here, two who haven't really shown up or popped in with a webcam or 
professional stuff like that too. I want to see that more people are interested in or come stop by and um, what are these? Ask questions. Stay for a while. I mean, stay for like 10 minutes at least. Stay for five, three. I don't know. I'll we'll just stay for like three seconds if you want to or something. I mean, if you hear about, I'd still say 10 minutes because then with that range, I would actually be getting somewhere. Or music to let's see. Because there's no music going on right now, if I could change the mood of music just by playing music or people's not only their musical compositions or type of music, but how their voice sounds too one day because like I was saying, you can sound angry when you're sad or sad when you're angry and then people tend to Right behind their smiles with sadness, but people do things to vent out their emotions in different ways, and people shouldn't have a problem with that. Sometimes it's easier to talk to others or even write a note down. You want to write a note down while you're listening to music or something because you don't really know how to express your feelings or emotions for whatever you're doing, and you hand a note. To somebody or it's just like a short note be like I'm sad because you don't really want to communicate or just put your emotions out and writing is actually a really good way to do it if you're writing a blog about it or writing an article paper depending on what you're doing with it too uh, what else? love notes are pretty common um there's I don't really know about friendship notes, but there's uh, not friendship notes. That I guess uh, if you're having a really rough day or just don't want to communicate, it's like as if you're not talking or you just, you're at school one day, you write a note or you put your head down and don't say anything and you write a note. I said that twice. You write a note to communicate to your teacher or staff member just that day you don't really feel like talking and that's acceptable too. I mean sometimes people are capable of uttering a few words every so often when it's decent to give them space or help them or ask them if they need anything too because it's being a good friend there's a lot of common things where people tell you to leave you alone but then they want you back but then they're like no i don't so it's kind of confusing in a way too i love kind of was a little bit behind but that's all right so there's that what else with cooking wow i guess cooking is fun with friends or when you're doing it with people when you're cooking with people, yeah, and that sounds a little bit. When you're cooking with people too, your emotions can change and maybe something will come out even better than you expected and one day you're just like, I can't make it because you've made it a certain way or you made it on a certain day and you may have a certain friends. So yeah, or being entertaining too is another great way to into your emotions out. There's blogs, YouTube, Tumblr is basically like a blog. I use Blogger. Um, Facebook, probably not the best place to do it. Uh, Twitter is usually what I've heard is it's great for complaining. You can reach out to people on other social networks too if there's somebody that doesn't like your cooking or for some reason they tell you it's a piece of yeah and if they tell you something like that then what you actually would probably want to do is try to find somebody who can talk to that's close to that person or who understands you I don't know depending on how emotionally deep the hatchet's buried that's probably a bad analogy but Depending on how bad the situation is, you want to go talk to that 
person otherwise if you're not talking to the person they're just ignoring you or you're ignoring them and as much as you try to help the person out too when you're trying to help say like you're trying to help a friend out and they do hear your advice and they think about it but it's still not clear to them if you're trying to help them out or as if they actually understand it or not because they still seem depressed about it or they're unsure and each day you try to help them out the problem it doesn't really degress or progress but it's just at a stable table step stable table stable table stand still I don't know I'm going with that but it's just a problem or the conversation it's not really even going around in circles but it's reiterating itself every day it's not getting any less anymore it's just the conversation that you tend to ponder for a while as if you're almost in a therapy session or something because the people around you may understand but if those two people are having a conversation then it's something weird so there's that uh cooking too i guess it depends on what you're cooking or how you're uh, well yeah how you're cooking it and what the day is going for you which i've said Because if you combine your emotions, music, and cooking, you might might make like the greatest thing ever. You could even make friends just not from a piece of cheesecake, really. In this is a little bit off topic of the emotions again, but again, if you have questions and you're tuning into this for whatever reason or you hear something, feel free to hit that Q and A box and I'll answer questions or use the form ever not whatever but yeah use the form or not well for well i guess for general questions too you can email me but for like the problem solution data too the form is actually easier to use i mentioned the form so much maybe that's why nobody uses it What time are we at for this? I don't even know what this means. And we'll see where this goes. That's not what I want to do. Oops. Alrighty. But yeah. Now, um, what else would have it? Uh, I covered that in my book. Let's actually, speaking of music, too. Let's see if I can find a favorite for you guys. I'll find you. I'll actually, we'll play. We'll let it go through. The song that's playing right now is my inspiration. This is kind of long and I realized that, but again, like I said, I was trying to inspire something or put emotions into it. I guess yeah, I don't have to play every song either. 
But I admire the way it sounds. It's actually pretty cool. And then, like this one, you can hear the mood difference in it. That goes. So you can kind of hear the variance from clap for a little bit. I guess I just want an excuse to play the music too. Like here's a little one that's more, what is it, more, it's, I guess kind of darker than Spook Bears in a way, which it's true. Because even if it's off beat, it has a rhythm, but it just sounds like that, and you don't really want to listen to it, so. I like the eerie feeling of the flyer in it, too. The best idea to do is behind this music is kind of to make you feel that way. Like I said, putting your emotions into music. Like that. So those are actually a couple of sound traits and solutions. Yeah, I just had another monitor. I will actually play another one too. Just four of them. Got so many rides for this guy. So, so this is actually a short one too. A little different though. I know I did not play yeah, tears, but. Here's a more upbeat one. I don't know, that'd be pretty cool if I I don't believe I can know. Oh gosh. You watching anyone? Nobody. Why do you guys not watch? Fine, I know, but... I'm the only one watching. Oh my gosh, I am special. Well then. So if you guys understand that options are, I don't understand I do. Time are we at? Yeah. Uh, I'm actually. I'm about. I get my words straight, but. I'll be back in my clothes so I can check something real quick. Well, you guys can see me, obviously. Because it doesn't tell me how long I've been on your wish. I think the timer down here would be decent, but then I do you know, it's just like the rise of clock or you know, in 30 minutes, which usually is about the time where it's just like chill out time and relax, you know. I've covered quite a bit. I talk too fast, I talk too much. I don't know what it is. I'm not good. Another thing I actually might do for um, the soul power is if you go to solutions.com slash lounge and you see the top one is the current video of the live feed, live 
Google Hangout because that's what I use. It's easy to set up. So I need to do that, but and then there's the playlist below that. I actually might move the playlist to a link or like link another page. So it's not as crowded. I mean, it looks cool, but you guys think? And I did mention, I don't know, a winner or a water home. Whatever. But I did mention, let's do it, 2015, because every year solutions is try to have a new website design. So it's going to be that. Um, what else it's going to be? It. With the new website design, I'm actually going to update the blog too. If the website happens to and now for whatever reason I will get it set up but the blog would become the temporary website and it's simply easy enough to paste the paste place. I guess it's place the link and then paste the form and that code so that's pretty easy too. Uh, I love this jam. This is like one of the first things I created when I was using this like, music creator. Oh, I wish it would just go upwards too. I don't want it to play anything else. Wait, I don't think it will actually. I would be disappointed if it did. Last, oh, so it actually does, and that's kind of cool. Stops at that. I've seen, like, I try to check the form as, or form submissions as much as I can, but I haven't seen any either, too. Also, if you guys have seen the, the, the what is it, uh, the short film, Trans Dimension, there's two videos of one, actually, there's three because that one included it's the complete silent film. Then there's an unedit one, and then there's tiny blooper reel where we are getting drove, driven, drove. I don't know what proper syntax is for that, but driven to we're getting drove in. We we drive to a place. We get I can't think what it is, but. We arrive at a place, and during that time, I'm just filming something because something hilarious happened before that. So that was pretty funny, and I mentioned it into the van. Or I don't mention it into the van. I mentioned it in the van. I moved my talking ability fast. And that was another thing that was uploaded to. As for what else is coming, I'm not entirely... Sure, this one it might actually be a little short. Maybe. Hmm. Have anything else for me to talk about today for you guys? Do I have anything at all? Oh, yeah, why did I put the thing down if I didn't? Because usually we wouldn't go a little longer, too. I'll extend a break, but I don't need anything, so. The first one was about, is it 16 minutes? So I guess these can range from, like, 16 to 30 minutes to 30 to 50 to 50 to an hour or so. I might bring next weekend. I might actually do a. What is it? Um, another thing where it's like two hours of purely just. Well, not two hours of just purely that, but kind of having discussion, talking about things, and then playing games for a while. Too, because it was actually fun kind of doing that while streaming. I know you guys. Probably were like, yeah, what the heck is this? And 
Um, I enjoyed it. Well, it's just to see to see a different side or see a different perspective besides me talking and using my voice like this. <clears throat> That is my goal to have. Well, another thing you can do too is go to solutions.com slash yeah, sign up and then password is sign me up. Each word is capitalized individually. So, capital, no first sign me up. So, us and you, they're capitals. Then you fill out the form and your account would be possibly get created. You can log in solutions.com and chat with people there. Or during these soul powered segments, you can come here, turn on your webcam, turn on your mic, and or you don't even have to necessarily do that, but you can also chat too. Some people like to watch these, or some people just watch their recap, which I understand it doesn't. Matter, but that's just my goal, and I try to mention it on the Facebook page or the Google community. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Tired. I mean, like, also, you saw like the view with Pikachu. All right, take a screenshot. Okay, don't. But you saw that, too, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, what else can we talk about? Oh my god, that looks really weird, me just yawning. Um... For all I know, I don't really have anything to cover at the moment. Ew, I might. I know it seems like I just keep on ending these earlier and earlier. But let me tell something. Uh, oh, I forgot. For, let's see if I can get that down just there. Yeah, oh well. For the motion little piece of this, too, another thing I've observed is people have this tendency, they don't really show it or know what it is. They know it's not depression or anything, but I've seen, observe, not seen, but I've seen observe. Let's just say a couple. I'm not gonna say exact numbers or anything. But seen a couple people where their emotions they're just kind of void, empty. Although they seem really sad and lonely, it's as if those feelings are there. But then again, they're not as if they're misplaced or something. Which is a blog post I wrote about it too, which made somebody really can. Certain, but again, my blogs are observations or notices, notes, and to help you out, like the blog post, you, those blogs are about people who are observing things like that. They're never really to target anybody, target myself. They're just there for you to read. And I've talked about that before. So with that emotional piece too about writing a blog or something like that or even reading it. You don't always have to be concerned with the emotions, but you should be aware of other people's emotions or once you are not sure you could ask somebody or try to get to know them better too. If I do this with well, this I don't believe this will mute the mic. No it does not. It does it? Okay no. So I need to check something real quick. I do apologize. 
But if it doesn't meet the mic, then uh, crap. Oh, that's not gonna play it then. So yeah. Or my system sound, yeah, the system sound won't play. But my mic, okay. That right, was really confusing for a minute. Oh great, it doesn't tell me what time is that. That's great. Uh, I will be, I'm not going anywhere, but. I'm just trying to do something real quick. He has that too. All oh, nice. Uh -oh. So yeah, that void emotionless feeling. I mean, it's not really that you don't have emotions or that your emotions aren't there, but it's just an awkward, uncomfortable feeling for a lot of people. It almost seems as if you're completely not yourself, really. It's a weird, hard, unfamiliar, complicated feeling, which in the blog is. So that's another emotional piece too. Um, what else? So like if you felt that way and you tried cooking something or listening to music, maybe the music wouldn't appeal to you for some odd reason. Or you cook something and let's say just yeah, I guess another family member just for cooking and you made it one day. Usually you're really upbeat and happy as that example again. And the food is like amazing, like oh my gosh, I get fat like a turkey. But then, just say, I don't know, a couple months turns winter, and this strange odd objected feeling appears, or you feel it, and it's you're unsure of it, and you cook something because obviously you're going to eat because you're not depressed, you're not going to deprive yourself or over eat or you make something for somebody else like a friend or a family member because you say they're hungry, even in your voice too, wouldn't have much emotion but it is common in probably several people I don't know exact numbers and then the person tastes the cooking, it looks amazing it smells amazing but it tastes and it's just like really bland and plain to them as if they could feel how you're feeling and certain music does that too as I've mentioned I don't understand why it doesn't tell me how long now it tells me I'm alive but tell me how long. I don't understand why I will, I'm actually going, we're actually going to take a break for a while. I know it's kind of strange, but I'm actually, because I will review to you later on how to do something, so. Uh, we will be returning in a few minutes. I do apologize.
I'm actually not put back yet. I guess what I had wasn't really working. I'm sorry, I apologize again. It should have. Oh well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, no. So I don't want to do. Yeah, I don't really think I like this. Screen sharing wasn't really working to do anything, so. What am I presenting to everyone? Um, so the end of the kicking your void bland emotional attack, even your music, it could sound really just out of tone, tune, tone to have. the way you're playing with all that bland unsureness with that, so, so, so. And it's hard because people would probably diagnose it as depression or sadness or you being upset. But it, to me, I really don't think it's not. It isn't. But anyway, with that or any of the motions, I'm going to I keep on mentioning this. It was just kind of fun to mention it or just shoving it out there pretty far. But every Saturday, like, say you had, if you want to know about music or kicking or emotions, and I've answered it, and you've listened to this, there's really no reason to fill out the form if that helped. But if it didn't, feel free to use it anyway, or go to the complaint form and just smash your head on a keyboard or something you complain about. Oh, somebody doesn't like your good and they don't like your music. 
tier, so there's a variant of that. And I did actually forget to mention that. Those videos, the music, they're kind of as, well, there's going to be one of similar that would be as if it's a video that somebody submitted, but I agree I was recording it, but it's still pretty close because I'm actually not in the video, like the trans dimension video either, as just has we're recording it. So there's that. Um, so hopefully there will be more things like that, and I will add a community playlist if people are willing to fill out the form and have videos up on the Solutions YouTube channel because they'll be yours. But if, again, if something is inappropriate, I may ask you to change it or it won't get uploaded because the title is easy enough to change, but then it's like an edit. You have to read did everything that I would, and I'm not going to edit your own video that you uploaded. So there's all of those, which should be coming soon, and hopefully people come, become more interactive and the soul powered. If, it, if they aren't, then that's all right. But again, if you, again, if you miss these two solutions, dot com slash lounge which I may actually change the location to this to which I probably will eventually do pretty soon so is there anything else you need to talk about I don't and I forget And also, if you're watching this while you're laying in bed, you might be pretty bored and lazy. Just kidding. With that joke. Uh, I need to have like a timer. Actually, I don't need to have a timer, but well, that shows me live. Oh, they both show me live, but it doesn't tell me like how long I've been on, which is kind of funny. Um, Oh yeah, to have more people in solutions videos or more interaction, like I've said, and probably three soul power. It's our idol, or we just have people in the soul power segments because that that'd be really cool to have people interact. I mean, if they're inappropriate, then they're obviously going to get kicked, banned, whatever the term is for the chat so yeah um what else so what else do we got i guess really nothing try and think if i can cover anything else Because I cover like the same things over and over again to get them out there or push them out there a little bit, or and eventually they do. Say with your what else is it? If you don't want like a requested solution or something, fill it out in a complaint form because you can make it as long as you want, and it can be about anything literally you can take your frustration out on the keyboard that way too it, it really doesn't matter so you can pretty much do whatever with that but as for the request forms and video submissions form please take those seriously the coin forms are something more fun and as like my final thought too i probably will i don't know when but we'll take the solutions playlist or um, not solutions playlist but cell powered playlist and put it somewhere else and then actually I might do that when I update the website with the new look or next year. I don't know I said new look but there might be other things too. 
I do have also two sweatshirts that I have with the Solutions logo, but one thing is actually, um, what is it? Uh, hmm. I was gonna say I could like try to maybe figure out something. If somebody would. Well, no, I really probably wouldn't want to give them out. I guess. If you're probably like literally just tuning in to this, though, this is going to be over in a couple minutes, and uh, you'll probably. Well, you can always, how you could actually DVR this, go back while well, I'm talking right now. You could have two tabs open and listen to one and pause it at one or something, or just wait for the whole thing to come out and just listen or skim around to see if any topics interest to you. Because that's like with the new format, too, is what I try to do is like solve power and then have a couple topics stay on those topics and so those topics and right now we're literally know where what usually is going to happen regardless probably i mean it happened earlier but now it's just like laugh which usually indicates if in the show where that's 30 minutes I and mean, it's like one of those internal clock type things i do but yeah with that uh let's get out of my jam real quick and see where we're at And work, work, huh? So yeah, about 57 minutes, which is an hour basically. So I'm actually going to end it up here. And again, I'm going to kind of recap everything. I mean, that's what the title is for too. So we talked about emotions, how they affect music and cooking and stated what's going on with soul powered or when it's on, so if you guys watch towards the end of the episode, like if you're watching right now or you've heard before, you're gonna hear again that so powered is going to be every weekend. It's solutions, not record. Okay, now I gotta start. <laughs> Too bad I can't record the so so powered is every weekend, every Saturday or Sunday, depending on the day or the weekend at one o'clock. It's not, I was going to say Easter Standard Time, but no, Central Standard Time. No, it is, no, 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 that the other way around there, right? So, Soul Powered has, like, within Soul Powered is now Solutions a Weekend because that is no longer a separate thing or video, which it was it's fun. It's 2 o'clock. No, it's 2 o'clock, so yeah. So if that, because if, they answer your questions in here, then there's really no reason to make another video or no reason for you to fill out the form. So I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving a couple days ago. Hope you're enjoying the snow or if you have no snow. And I was going to say stay strong and problem solve on, but you know, realize it was Thanksgiving and just enjoy your Black Friday shopping. To, I will see you possibly next Sunday. So you guys know. So again, I don't even want to repeat it because I'm going to mess up on it. But one thing I always can say straight is stay strong and problem solve on. And, you know, thanks for watching. Thumbs up to you guys. And if you missed them and you watched the recap, I'm totally fine with that. But when the playlist is gone or... Well, you, in Fear of My Circles too, you'll get the video invitation and I'll be in that like invitation page thing, whatever it is. So there's that too, but if you're not and you come on the website and you see that there is no playlist, then there will be a link of something else. So I hope you guys enjoy it and 
Stay strong and problem solve on.